Okay, this video is Pearl Davis, female, refutes trad cons. Okay, so this is Pearl Davis right here, and she's becoming really super famous on the internet because she's funny and she's smart. Um, and perhaps what I find so funny about it is she's saying things that guys say all the time, but the opinion of men is really silenced in society. If you just talk to some guy in a you know, private conversation, he'll say many of these things. Okay, but this never gets anywhere in sort of mainstream culture. Um, it's forbidden, uh, pretty much. Okay, and that's perhaps why she's so popular and why she's so funny. And she's young; she's only 26 years old, I heard, and she's single. And so that's what's funny right now. There's a big argument going on on the internet about whether or not man should get men should get married. And the, what's funny about it is the traditional conservatives, like this guy here, Walsh, he's a pretty famous guy, and he's, he's actually funny too. But she's funnier than he is. She's more clever than he is. Um, he's saying that men should get married. Society depends on it. It's the bedrock stabilizer of society, so to speak. And she's saying, no, they shouldn't. Marriage is a bad deal for them. And it's funny because this is the opinion I hear from men most of the time, actually. Um, just to give you a sense of Pearl Davis, she sells a t-shirt saying that women shouldn't vote. Uh, she's been called the female philosopher, social guide, social commentator, and also she's been called the female Andrew Tate. Um, she says stuff like, Pearl says that the only way female sports will ever be profitable is if they play naked. Um, she says promiscuous women should be designated by men as for recreational use only, never married, and that men should only try to marry virgins. Um, what else kind of funny stuff does she say? Okay, well, basically, like in modern society, heterosexual Christian men are being ostracized from modern society. And as modern society gets progressively more feminized, it's obviously heading into a loss of free speech and into slavery, basically. You know, there's no such thing as a self-functioning uh, gynocracy that has freedom, okay? If you look back in the history of the founding of Rome, um... Look that up about the Sabian women, how they uh, got women for Rome when it initially had too many men. Um, you know. Anyways, we're not going to get into all that historical stuff, but she basically says that for, for in modern society, in a modern feminist society, marriage for most men is a form of suicide. Average age of divorce for men is about 46 years old, women a little younger, 43 years old. She says that about 75% of men end up significantly worse off because of marriage. She says we're basically in a post-marriage society. Um, one man featured on her show said a man has a better chance of winning the lottery than benefiting from marriage. Um, and by the way, I talk to a lot of young men, okay, and, and middle-aged men, and of course older men, but especially the middle-aged and younger men, I'm telling you, they don't want to get married. They regret getting married. And I think this bodes poor for society because men and women are designed to help each other, okay? And they, they're designed to raise a kid. I've heard another commentator say the number one indicator of good parenting is that the woman has a supportive partner, typically, you know, the husband, the father, or the child. And single mom, you know, she's got to focus on making money, putting food on the table. You know, of course, a lot of times she's getting money from the divorced dad, but the kids end up much better off having fathers around. I've seen lots of kids that fell apart when their parents got divorced. They dropped out of school or became drug addicts or committed suicide. And I'm talking about kids dropping out of medical school <laughs> and college and losing years of their life, if not their life. I've seen a lot of bad outcomes from it. Okay, anyways, um, Pearl says that the average divorced man ends up at the mercy of his wife for whether or not he gets to see his kids. The average man ends up, you know, having their kids and their pension taken away from them by divorce. She says they often lose their jobs, end up committing suicide, or they end up as Uber drivers. Okay, so uh, this guy right here, you know, traditional conservative guy, Walsh, he's sort of like, oh, marriage is so great. And she says the reason he thinks marriage is great is because he's young and he hasn't been divorced yet and he doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, so anyways, I quite often don't agree with her, but I do find her very funny and uh, she... She's real smart and funny, and she comes out and says stuff that guys really think and say, and you don't hear it much, and I think uh, for society, it'd be better off if uh, people you know, thought about the things she say. Because what everybody tries to pretend is that, oh, society's better off being feminized. But they don't understand. Society is being intentionally feminized as a way to push it into slavery. And the way that works is by getting all these you know, 
highly intelligent, educated females to keep on pursuing more careers and more education, you also essentially prevent them from having children. And that leads to a stupider society because there's a joke that the higher a woman's academic IQ, the lower her biologic IQ, meaning the less likely she is to ever have a child. I know lots of female doctors who are beautiful and nice and smart and they have, they're not married and they have no kids. Okay, and I know other ones who, you know, finally in their 40s, after they made partner at their job, they try to have kids, they're infertile, then they go to infertility specialists and they end up having one child. Um, it's difficult for them. Okay, uh, I also know, you know, female sort of big shot doctor PhD types who never got married or are divorced, have no kids, and then they have boy toys. Because I know some of these men that are in their 20s and 30s that are paid to be sort of like the paid for boyfriend of these women to go on vacations with them. This is really happening. I, I know the people it's happening to. They tell me all these stories. Um, so anyway, society's kind of falling apart. And uh, she also makes the point, yeah, she says men should try to marry virgins. Not that there's that many of them around or that that's realistic, but there's a good point to that. She was on a TV, on, a, on some interview show with Andrew Tate and uh, on, a, on a bunch of other women. And they sort of asked the women, you know, what do men want from a woman to want to go out with her and date her? And, uh, and like the one of the, some of the women were saying, oh, they want the woman to be promiscuous and do everything the man wants in bed. And, and Andrew Tate's like, are you crazy? That's the opposite of what men want. What men want is a reliable confidence in paternity so that they're willing to be a servant for their wife and kids, but they want to be confident that she's not cheating on them. And that's pretty fundamental to human behavior. And he's like, they want her to be more pure and sort of feel that she's reliable and trustworthy. They don't care so much, you know. You know, an animal can do anything in bed. You know, it's a, it takes a, you know, a good woman to be a reliable wife and mother to the kids and partner in running the family, you know, and managing the house and all the things that go into marriage. It's a lot more of a partnership. And it's partly like a business partnership. So you need trust and all that kind of stuff, and you need emotional stability. Uh, but anyways, I can tell you, I've been surprised how much, you know, usually I think all these social commentary shows are stupid and kind of low class and a waste of time, okay? So I don't spend much time looking at them, but I was surprised. She actually really makes me laugh. She's funny. Um, so anyways, you might find her entertaining. <laughs>